Yo, what's up guys? Dice D BMX, another video, same day. Um, it's gonna be on how to restore your BMX grips. Um, I did uh, how to install, I, I, I threw on some new ODIs ten, like 10 minutes ago, I finished that video. I grabbed my old uh, Savage grips, uh, my Fit by Co Savage grips from the Augie Complete, and um, they were worn, chipped, um, torn, I mean scuffed, horribly disgusting, just they were gone, dirty, I mean everything. So I grabbed them, I grabbed the boiling pan of water as in you're going to stretch your grips for your new bike, and I threw them in. And it's restoring them. So, uh, I'll show you guys how to do it. So, first, you're gonna grab your old grips and you're gonna get a pan, fill it halfway up with water to where the grips can be submerged. Uh, have the pan, uh, or the, uh, not, not the pan. Yeah, the pan. You're, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> with boiling water, uh, throw the grips in five, ten minutes later until you think they're done. Uh, like they look brand new. They look absolutely brand new right now. Here, let me. And uh, if you watch my tutorial on how to put on new grips, you will see how old and horribly looking these things were. They were just in really bad condition. And they've been in it for about five minutes now, so I'm gonna give them a few more minutes. I'm gonna take them out and then show you guys what to do next. Thanks, Cookie Channel. We got. Go follow my Instagram friend. at dicey underscore bmx. Go do it. I post so much whenever I'm out on journeys. All right, these have been long enough. Let's go ahead and kill the water. Grab a knife or whatever works. Ooh, be careful. Oh my God, these things are ridiculously sensitive right now. Go ahead and do that. The other one is fully submerged. Let them cool off. Oh, look at there, they're steaming like crazy. You guys can't really see, but it's insane. Wow, that is gnarly. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this dirty water. Look at how, wow, look at how dirty. I'm not sure that you guys are gonna be able to see this, but look at how dirty that water is right now. Here, let me give you guys some better height. Going up on a Tuesday. It is a Tuesday. Hey, y'all going up on a Tuesday. All right, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I usually say that and it's like never a Tuesday. Uh, look at, you guys can barely see, but, I mean, everything, like, all of that crap you see on the bottom is dirt. The water is a brown tinted color, like, these things were disgusting. Alright, so here we have the grips. Uh, let's go ahead and get the water out of all of them, they are waterlogged. And, wow, let me get some better light in here. Let there be light. Oh, wrong one. Wait, no, that's right one. But these things are waterlogged, so we're going to get all the water, let them dry out. But, wow, man. These things are, I mean, they, they literally look brand new. Like, I, I didn't even need the ODI grips. I literally just could have got the bar ends because my bar ends were trashed. But these look brand new. The only thing... That you are gonna notice with this is, and I mean, and you can stretch these too and make them more softer. You know, you can stretch them again. Um, the only thing that's gonna be any scuffs that you have are gonna be on them. Like you can see, I got a scuff right here on the Savage logo. It's not staying in focus. There it is. So. I mean, that's the only, they look brand spanking new, man, like, so, if this doesn't work, um, which it should, I mean, if, if your grips are literally torn in half, and there's cuts all in them, there's nothing really you can do, but, I mean, you can really, instead of spending the money to get new grips, you can just boil them in water. Um, it restores the flexibility of them and the durability um, because they can just get so, so not disgusting and, I mean, it, it, it's like a, they just get so filthy over time that it, may, it builds up and they tear easy and it just wears them down in certain spots. 
Um, but if you do this, it will, I mean, it, it most likely will restore them to be in decent condition and it cleans them perfectly and it uh, um, disinfects them too with the hot, with the hot boiling water. Um, but I mean, they, they really look brand new. They feel, they feel brand new. Like it, there's nothing, I have zero complaints with this. And it, it takes five to 10 minutes and it costs you, I mean, zero money. If you wanna be specific, I mean, maybe in, in electricity and gas, five cents, and in water, five cents. It means ten cents to make your grips look brand freaking new. I am surprised. I am. I, I was gonna toss these out, but I am not. I'm keeping those for backup, um, backup grips whenever I'm in Woodward in case something happens to my grips or even along the road. Um, and I will do the same with my next ODIs. If for some reason those ODIs, I, I change them out because I find the correct colorway um, of my, my grips, um, I will probably put the originals back on, take the ODIs off, or if I just switch it up, if I take, if I, if I for some reason want to put these back on for a shoot or something, I'll put, I mean, they, they look the same, but I'll put these back on and save the ODIs and do the exact same thing. Alright, thank you guys for watching this video. Enough with the talking. See you guys next time. Peace out.